Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mehmed here. Today the version is on the advanced information based uh, topics for the GCSE Maths 2022 GCSE Maths exam. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the questions. Question 1. 1 fifth of 270 divided by the denominator and then times by the numerator. So 270 divided by 5 that gives an answer of 54 and then times by the numerator 54 times by 1 is 54 so the answer is 54 how many minutes are there in 4 hours? so 4 hours times by 60 minutes which is 240 minutes solve 3x equals 18 so divide by 3 both sides divided by 3, divided by 3, so x is equal to 6. Tim is x years old, Alex is 7 years old, older than Tim. Write an expression for Alex's age. So Tim is x, Alex is 7 years older, so be x plus 7. 3, 7, 11, 15, find the next three terms. So check how many, what is the number going up by? So add in 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. So 15 plus 4 is 19. Then 19 plus 4 is 23. 23 plus 4 is 27. A bag contains 5 red counters and 10, red, 10 white counters. What fraction of the counters are red? 5 red and 10 white. What fraction of the counters are red? So it would be 5 out of the total of 15. 10 plus 5 is 15. You can simplify the answer, which is 1 third. How many faces, edges, and vertices? So the faces are these faces. Okay, just to give you an idea. Just going to get rid of that. So faces, there are 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. 5 faces. Edges are these lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 9 edges. Always good to highlight. If you have a highlighter, that works really well. And vertices are the corners. So let's get rid of these lines. So corners 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 vertices. 6. So we had edges 9, faces 5. List all the factors of 24. You can list them in pairs. That works really well so that you don't miss out any. So 1 and 24. 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that's all the factors of 24. Find the lowest common multiple of 10 and 6. So we can list the multiples 10, 20, 30, 40, multiples of 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and you can see 30 is the lowest common multiple. So the lowest common multiple of 10 and 6 is 30. What is the square root of 400? Use your calculator. Square root of 400 is 20. If x equals 4, y equals minus 2, find the value of 2x plus 3y. So let's substitute the numbers in. Make sure, you, I know it's a calculator paper, so we we'll substitute the numbers in so we'll get a mark for it. So 2 times 4 plus 3 times minus 2, which is 8. Minus 3 times minus is minus 6. 8 take with 6 is 2. Expand 5 times 3x is 15x. 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. 15x minus 10. 
find the area of this trapezium, including uh, units, where A and B are the length of the parallel sides, and H is their perpendicular separation. Area of trapezium is half times A plus B times by H. So this is A, this is B, this is H. So the area will be, you can use this formula here, half times A plus B, which is 3 plus 5 times by H, which is 4. So 3 plus 5 inside brackets is 8, so half times 8 times by 4, 2 going into 8, 4, 4, 4 times 4 is 16 including the units, so that would be 16 centimetres squared, oops, 16 centimetres squared. Next, calculate key root of 231 over 94 plus 7.6 squared, give your answer to two decimal places. So this one we're going to type in calculator, so we're going to do cube, type in cube root first, so what you can do is you can see a shift and then cube root button if you've got the Casio calculator and then type in the fraction button so I type in 231 press the down arrow button then 94 and then plus 7.6 squared just be careful the square root is not on top of the 7.6 so press the right arrow button and then plus 7.6 squared. Otherwise, the square root keyboard carries on all the way through the whole calculation. So that gives us an answer of 59.10946. We wouldn't round it to two decimal places. That would give us, let's write down the whole calculation numbers first, 59.10946. And to round it to two decimal places, the answer will be 59. So add one to this number here because it's nine or over 59.11 and that's the answer solve 2x minus 11 equals 6 plus 11 from both sides 2x these two cancel out equals 17 and then divided by two both sides x equals 8.5 Find the end term, how much is going up by, plus 5, plus 5, so it will be 5n, times 5 by 1, which is 5, what do I need to add to 5 to get to the term, first term 7, we're adding 2, 5 plus 2 equals 7, so we need to add 2 to the term, enter, 5n plus 2, and then find the length of the side mark x, give your answer to two decimal places. It's a right angle triangle. We have two sides given, so we can use the Pythagoras' theorem. Got a little hint there. So two sh uh, short side given, and to find the hypotenuse, the longest side. So we're going to do seven squared plus three squared, square root that, and type in your calculator, square root seven squared plus three squared. That gives an answer of square root of 58, which is 7.6157, 7.6157. I round it to two decimal places, 7.6, that would be add one to that number, 7.62 centimeters. Okay, that was a quick revision for up to grade four. Hope this helped. Let's, I'm gonna foresee grade five as well. And good luck with your exam today. I'm sure you'll do well. Make sure you show your calculations, although it's a calculator paper, to pick up those marks, especially when you're doing substitution. Mr. Mahmood, helping you do better in maths.